Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to do another movie reaction. Okay, shit, it's getting dark in here. Um, but today I am going to react to Midway. Uh, it's a movie from... It's not that long ago, actually, and it has a lot of famous actors I saw. Um, 2019. Oh, it's the movie with Nick Jonas. I do recognize the one still. I don't know where I saw it, but I recognize it. For the rest, it has Ed Skrein from Game of Thrones, Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson is in fact my most watched actor of this year. I've already watched 10 films with him. This is going to be the 11th one. My letterbox stats are not going to be able to get changed anymore before the end of the year. And I was just checking the subtitles and then I also saw Alexander Ludwig from Vikings. I saw Young Luther from Umbrella Academy. So I feel like I know literally everyone. Oh, and Woody Harrelson is also in this look ever so many people I know. So that is promising already, but um, the reason I am reacting to this movie is because I am going to react to the Pacific soon. The people who watch this video are the only ones who know this, and my Patreons who are subscribed to the behind the scenes content. But then one of my Patreons requested this uh, movie, and he was like, this is a really good like step up before watching the Pacific. So I was like, that's very nice because I was planning to react to that in November. So I'm reacting to this movie now and then next week I will start uh, recording the Pacific. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, the movie's called Midway and I suppose it's about the Battle of Midway. I did not know that much about it, but I educated myself a bit just to know the basics. And I've also been listening to some podcasts about the, the war in the Pacific. So... There's a storm going on outside, so if you hear something, it's very noisy right now, um, but it's insane. Like, my cats are not allowed to go outside because they'll just blow away. Um, that's how heavy it is right now, but yeah, then you know that. For the rest, I really like learning through movies and TV shows. So I think watching this movie and watching the Pacific is just gonna... Uh, make me learn things. Of course, this is like the kind of stuff you have in history class and if you're not that interested in it in your own personal life, you don't really do research to it. But it is very interesting to me, even though I never out of myself think like, oh, let's do some research about the Second World War, you know? So yeah, I think this this is all gonna like, um, yeah, make me learn a bit more about this subject and all. So that's very interesting. So I think with all this basic information, I'm just gonna watch this movie, learn a bit more about this whole subject. See if the movie is good, of course, because you can make a movie about a historical subject and it can still be shit. So uh, let's check that out. And yeah, I'm very curious to see it. So let's watch it. Oh, and before I start, I want to tell you that if you want to request your own movie, you can check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. You can also request a TV show episode, just a random video, or like I said, a movie. So next time I could be reacting to your favorite TV show or movie. And you can also watch my full reaction on there. So check it out if you're interested. And then now I'm really going to react to this movie. Oh, there he is. <laughs> my friend is in love with this man. Empire built on ridiculous I just saw him in the cinema two depends, days ago. <laughs> you won't miss this place when you're gone. Omigoto desu, Kimura-san! Damn, he's Gentlemen, speaking Japanese. On behalf, work together to maintain peace. Whiskey wa kirai kana. Atano gurasu no nakawa ocha dato. Wait, he was just drinking tea? Damn. We are emboldened by our invasion of China. Yet, we get 80% of our oil from your country. If that supply is threatened, it will force us into drastic measures. Nobody wants a war. And yet, they still happen every time. Sayonara, Plato. Yeah, <laughs> look how that turned out. Okay, very nice intro already though. Just like this really calm conversation between them and just the way he's like, nobody wants a war. And then just this, then you go to like this, where there's war now. Ah, there's Ed Skrein or Dario Naharis from Game of Thrones. 
Wait, I think that's why I know this movie. Like, I've not seen it or anything, but in 2019, I was still a really big Game of Thrones fan. And I think I read that he was going to play in that. And then I also saw the picture of Nick Jonas, and that's why I know the stills. Yeah. And <laughs> Luke Evans. Wait, I think my dad was watching this movie one time. And that's also why it looks so familiar. Like, I haven't watched it with him. I was just sitting here. I think I've seen some scenes, maybe. Oh, now I recognize it. Uh, is he gonna like... Ooh? Yeah. <laughs> I already see that this is the perfect role for him. Not me. I'll be drinking a beer on the beach with Roy by noon. And I'm not coming. No, McCluskey's holding back scouting six. That's one way to invite yourself. I'm not coming? Hey, me and Roy, pour a little beer out on the beach for you. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, that's Alexander Ludwig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's there. I saw him in the picture. I was like, yeah. Taking your sweet time. That one's gonna be here any minute. Another hot one, sir. And that is young Luther from Umbrella Academy. No, sir. I just can't help wondering why I have to set up chairs for church, even though I don't believe in God. Fair. Well, that's because your only religion is chasing tails. The Navy ain't gonna pay you for that. <laughs> oh yeah. Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Forgot about that for a second. Japanese are attacking us. Oh, that's just a kid. Oh my god. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Is he gonna die in the beginning of the movie? Ooh. I did listen to a story about like one man who survived this attack. Maybe he plays that man. Oh. You wanna live? Get to that goddamn ship, you hear me? That seems so scary, like you literally can't go anywhere. You're just trapped in a ship. Dude, he's dead. Just get out of there. What the hell is going on? Pearl is shooting at our guys, sir. Sir! That's not what he said. He said this is no shit. Get this. <laughs> oh, that with burnt hands. I mean, better than dying, I guess. Oh, shit. Yeah, now there's really no time for church. Damn, they really got out of there just in time. Where does he has command? Right, to hell with smoke. Go after those carriers with a real bomb. Yeah, okay, even if you get close enough, your torpedoes. I feel like he's the Poe Dameron of this movie. The damn thing. They're killing our friends. Let me put a 500 pound bomb right down here. For real. We're not changing tactics just because you want revenge. Going after the Japs, sir? Yeah, we're gonna smoke them to death. <laughs> He's so confident. Go land at Pearl. We can't clear the mountains. That's an order. Six torpedo one, I'm dropping my 
smoke tanks and return into Enterprise. Well, this is some great teamwork. Death fleet was north, not south. Damn it. <laughs> what the hell? Can I buy in your rank? Save it for the jack. You want to keep playing? I suggest you knock off the cowboy bullshit. The cowboy bullshit. Come on. Jesus. What are they doing? The one below deck was probably trapped. Oh, ew. Do you know when you want to board Arizona? Yeah, my roommate from the academy. Oh, I think that was um yeah, but I think he got away. Hey. I want you and Bart to go back to oh, place. that was uh, the no. woman with the with the child who was Everyone watching it. I think. You talked to Sarah before we board to Arizona. Yes. Checking all the hospitals, but nothing yet. Tell her I'll find it. Is that gonna be like his personal mission? I heard you were with Lieutenant Pierce during the attack. Oh, that's the boy, right? Saw you, huh? Yeah. What happened to him? I don't know. I don't know. Doing our best to then bring in body parts and pillowcases. Hmm. There's too many. I feel like he is gonna be alive, though. Otherwise, they wouldn't make such a fuss about it, I think. He would have been wearing our class ring from Annapolis. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see that coming. Like, obviously, they were burned, but... Yeah. Took this off the body when he came in. Wait, so it is him? I'm sorry. I'll give you a moment. <sighs> but wouldn't more people have been, like, wearing that ring then? But it was also a watch. I think they'd also recognize that. Ugh. Suddenly and deliberately attacked. The United States was at peace with that nation. What did you say? Shame. Shame. I was killed by a dead man. I was killed by a dead man. Yeah. Oh, there's Woody Harrelson. Congratulations, sir. You're the right man to run the Navy. When they get in trouble, they send for the sons of bitches. We have three carriers. The Japs have ten. We have zero functional battleships. They have nine. They have more cruisers, more bombers, more fighters. Much of their equipment is more modern. We'll oh, great odds. I don't envy the new commander. It's me, isn't it? The president asked for you himself. Welcome to the most difficult job in the world. Oh, are these all the victims from Pearl Harbor? I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Roy wanted to be a pilot like you. But I talked him out of it. I said it was too dangerous. I'll see you at the next funeral. You don't have to go. Yes, I do. We're family. Damn, I really can't believe he just died in the beginning. <laughs> It was also because he was still looking for him, I still had some hopes, like, he's probably gonna find him, but... Summer after plea beer, me, Roy, and Dickie went up to visit Roy's uncle up in the Great Lakes. The way they were even talking about having a beer on the beach that night. the sun comes up. Hey, Dickie, what did Roy say? Hell no. We'll drink it all. Roy was my best man. He was the godfather to my daughter. I thought someday he'd be on a porch drinking beers, telling lies about what we did in the big war. To Roy. To Roy. Roy! <laughs> Sad. You want to carry me home, darling? Port <laughs> Patrol. Now that's the Admiral's flag. Act sober. Hey, I bet it's the new commander. Hey, Nimitz! When are you going to let us hit those jabs? I'm sorry, sir. Do you want me to get their names? I need you to be my Admiral Yamamoto. Get in his head. Tell me what he's going to do next. Your first assignment. I'm sending Halsey 
to attack the Marshall Islands, but I need to know that they're not walking into a trap. Intelligence says they're 2,000 miles away. You mean the same group of geniuses who didn't know the Japs were gunning for Pearl? Like I said, be prepared for anything. What happens if we get shot down? Look, I'm not gonna end up with a POW. This guy is already shining more in, like, the 30 minutes I've seen of this movie than an entire season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, did it break? We got a problem. I got eyes on a second enemy airfield on Taroa Island. I'm counting maybe 30 bombers and heavy fighter cover. Enemy fighters, 11 o'clock! We got company. What is this? I think he's gonna like go down again and then just go up. Ah. Yeah. Ooh. Damn, he is a good pilot. Oh, that was the enemy. <laughs> First, I thought it was them. This guy, damn. Like, he's so confident and normally I would think like, oh, it's a bit cocky to be like that. But he has every right to be arrogant. <laughs> Is that like a kamikaze pilot? Fast thinking. <laughs> nice. Damn. Weren't they playing us to kill Jess? <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't for him, him the, the thing would have just like exploded on the ship and many people would have died or been wounded. Bruno Guido, sir. Aviation machinist mate third class. You are now an aviation machinist mate in first class. <laughs> the way he had a moment there where, where he was like, oof, I'm gonna cry, <laughs> but saved. That's so nice. Oh, that looks like a nice building. Are you really sure you want your wife? Wingman for you tonight. Yeah, nobody told me to be USO girls here tonight. Hey, <laughs> how long have you been married? Long enough to know my husband's talents. Why isn't he commanding a squadron? Slay. Before the war, when it was about politics, but now. I told you she was a firecracker. Oh, he's also there. Yes. Just be straight with me. What am I missing? <laughs> I love her Every already. Time we go up, there's a chance we won't come back. Now it's hard to follow a man who doesn't know that, or even worse, doesn't care. Let's dance. I feel like he's so confident indeed that he's just like... He doesn't think anything's gonna happen to him or something, I don't know. But it's also because of his confidence, I don't really fear for him or something. But of course that's not realistic. Welcome aboard Enterprise. You're replacing good men. Make sure you're worth more than a bucket of warm spit. Wait, so he's leading a group now? Or a squadron? Or how do you call that? You gotta see this. Lieutenant Colonel James Doodle. Maybe the best pilot in the world. And he intends to launch his planes off the Hornet. Strike Tokyo. But if we bomb Tokyo, we'll be the first enemy in Japan's history to hit their home territory. We all want to fly, sir. See you all in China. They can't take off, load, and they sure as hell can't land. Ten bucks. A
damn the water. Well, I mean, they sure as hell did it. Does America winning the war really depend on Edmund Leighton working himself to death? Some of our boys bombed Tokyo today. We're supposed to land in free China, but they're probably going to run out of fuel and have to ditch in the China Sea. Oh, shit. Will they actually make it into Japanese-occupied territory? They'll be tortured and executed. What can you do? Most likely nothing. But we're not going to lose any more men because I didn't dig deep enough. I get it. He just wants to try everything he can. Of course, it's about lives. See you all on Kuzu. Your next honor. American, I'm an ally. I need to get to Kuzo. Kuzo. Hello. Hello. Oh, someone who speaks English? My name is Sushi Sam. <sighs> Bombed Japan yesterday. Well, it was a plane. It crashed. Hurry, hurry to it. I left it at the shore. Ask them. Sawa! They say, you, you lie. I'm an American officer. I keep my gun. Do you bomb Japan? Damn, we're friends. Okay. I get it's hard to just trust people, you know, in these times. I want Enterprise to join Yorktown and Lexington in the Coral Sea. The Battle of Yorktown. 1780. I don't know. <laughs> That's a Hamilton song. What's their target? People are talking. People. Tom, just people. Oh. Thank you for everything. You are now in charge of the air crew. I don't have a lick of confidence. I want you in a dive bomber. You're the new skipper of bombing six. Good luck, boys. Okay. Well, I guess you're gonna have to learn to fly an SBB. I've logged plenty of hours in the Dauntless. Not diving at a live target. Can't be that hard. I mean, you do it. <laughs> He's very well trained, though, I think. <laughs> I just got off the phone with Washington and their intelligence guys think you're wrong about this big operation. So what's the Jap's real target? We believe it's Midway. They see our base there as a step towards Hawaii and eventually the West Coast in a few weeks. I think it's time to pay a visit to your friend's station hypo. I have to warn you, sir. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, Admiral. It uh, gets cold down here in the dungeon. In the dungeon? Just chilling in his pajamas. Told me he's absolutely certain the Japs are going to hit Midway, and I need to know. Don't believe him. We'll all be speaking Japanese. Most likely we'll be dead. So Roughly he kind of found out about this whole plan of them to attack Midway? To Here's some of our uh, cracked messages. Oh. Rochard has a gift for assembling the fragments. He can recall a message from two months ago and plug it into today's intercept. Do you have any direct proof that they're wrong? Direct proof? No, but... Imagine that you're throwing a wedding. And maybe I've never seen the invitation, but... I hear from the caterers that they have an event on a certain day, the best band is booked... <laughs> That's what signal intelligence can give you. I swear to you, Joe's right about this. Yeah, I mean, if he explains it like that, and you see that all the, the messages and shit, I think you should just trust them then. But you gentlemen need to convince Washington that the Japs' real target is Midway. How, sir? I'm sure you'll think of something. So they do all this work, find out all this stuff, and then it's like so hard to even convince anyone that it's actually like... Really likely to happen. They've intercepted several Japanese messages claiming that the target of their upcoming attack is out of fresh water. Interesting, sir. I heard that Midway accidentally sent out an unencrypted transmission that their water plant was broken. And is their water plant broken? Not that I know of, sir. 
But that proves Midway is AF. Tell your man Rochford that everyone now agrees on where his wedding is going to be held, <laughs> how many guests are coming, and when they plan to arrive. We found the spot. Or that I've ever helped a big time Hollywood director scout for a movie before. <laughs> Said that I might be able to find some real action here. I think I've been hoodwinked. I'd say your friend has some good intel. Very funny. Sit the hell down. We're headed back to Pearl to resupply it. Probably because something big is coming down the pipe. Can I talk to you, sir? I don't know if I can do this, sir. I thought I was a good pilot, but lost my confidence. You know, my dad was a tough son of a bitch. You know, I got his respect by always staying in the fight. I wish I had the luxury of worrying about your confidence, but we're short on pilots, so you gotta suck it up. Yes, sir. From now on, you're my wingman. I'll be looking out for you. Oh, that's cool. I'll suit up for a scouting flight. He wants to know why nothing bothers you. My uncle was a welder in the Empire State Building. Walk on a beam, a thousand feet up in the sky, no ropes, nothing. You know, and everyone thought he was crazy. And one Sunday, walking home from church, a block away from his house, cab jumps over the curb, splatters him like a bug. You never know what's gonna get you. Fair. So why worry about it? Like you can do all the dangerous shit you want, and you might not die, and then something stupid like that indeed kills you. So. Oh. <laughs> that looks so silly. But I mean, he's a really good pirate. A pirate? <laughs> pilot. Jesus. <laughs> Been watching too many pirate shows. Uh, so, yeah. He's gonna get out of that. But can he do that? Abort! Abort take off! Stop! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And that was the guy who was like, I'm not confident enough, right? Oh no, I feel so bad for him. Yeah, no shit. Oh, I already really felt for this guy because... Oh! 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 Did he really just die like that? That is so stupid! Poor guy! Guess you don't like the chokers either. Makes me look like a damn waiter. <laughs> Nobody would ever confuse you for a waiter. <laughs> There's a big difference between tired and whatever the hell you are. You're going ashore to the hospital. Does this look like a battle wound to you? It's a damn rash. Now, oh, it's, it's really growing. I can't get over the stupid ways people die here. I think I'm Durkin disappeared on patrol. And there's this other kid, Willie West. Take him under my wing. He wrote a letter to his mother yesterday. It's not your fault. And if we lose, they own the Pacific. And they raid the West Coast. This damn war will last a decade. I've never seen you this worried before. No, same. He's always really confident, I like I said. It's different now. I have to lead these men. And then see what I can do. Uh, I just uh, looked this up, but it's like actual people, which I could have figured out because it's like real stories, of course. Richard Halsey Best. Okay. The Japanese will attack on the morning of June 4th from the northwest at a bearing of 325. Yeah, he did his research. I trust Leighton and his team. He's in trouble. Oh, 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 oh. The way these people, the, these planes just keep crashing in the water. Well, they could get him out. But yeah, of course, the other guy who just dropped in the water of the ship, like, sailed over him, so that was pretty fucked. I feel like that really could have, like, been prevented, you know, but yeah. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I liked you better when you were cocky. Yeah, suddenly he's worried about everything. I guess every battle needs a miracle. <laughs> Go home. I think I'm going to spend the night here, sir. Just in case anything comes up. Your wife doesn't mind. Well, she knows the drill. My wife knows the drill too, but she still minds. And when the war's over, I plan on spending the rest of my life making it up to her. <laughs> yeah, well, you also need rest sometimes, so... But I get it. This is like 
a heavy thing coming up, and of course you just want to get everything right. Radar must have picked up something. That's great, Mike. That's great. <laughs> Next time, get the horn up a little higher. All right, lower the flag. We're going again. <laughs> the men in this room can fly with anyone. Maybe that's because I'm a cocky son of a bitch. That's literally what I called him. Not the son of a bitch, but I said he was kind of cocky. No, I said normally I would think someone like that is cocky, but it was nice when he had it because I felt like he was unbeatable. We're gonna give him a shot. Mr. Ford, crap, we need to get you to a bunker. Incoming aircraft. Sir, you have to take cover, sir. He's gonna want to film that. <laughs> That's a real filmmaker. Oh my god. I mean, then you have the real thing on camera. But it is very dangerous though. That's really what it's like to be a filmmaker. <laughs> He's gonna do the same trick, right? Oh shit, no, I don't think that's possible now. Well, the ones I've seen in this movie? Good luck, sir. I'll be right behind you. I'll meet you at the Japanese fleet. Tokotoko, well, good luck. Battle stations, everybody, in your bunks! Don't worry. This is it. <laughs> the usual. I don't know why the planes taking off from the ships look so dorky to me. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Let's go back. I'm not sending the squadron out there without their commander. Dude, if you're gonna die, oh, I hope he's gonna be okay. <laughs> That's one way to communicate. Oh my god. It's always so wild to me how much you see them shooting them and nothing really hits them. Well, them. Now it does. Never mind. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. Shit. Uh, just that realization like, okay, I'm gonna die here. Oh, chills. Is he okay with the oxygen and all? Oh, that's Luke Evans. I forgot his name in the movie. I'm sorry. I wonder if there's any chance if you like crash into the water to like get out of there, okay? Every time I'm wondering about something the movie shows it, so... But then what? Like they're gonna shoot you and how are you gonna get out of the water then? But some of them explode and some of them don't, so... God damn it, that magnificent son of a bitch actually found them. We got the first bastard in line. It's the best, watch out!
<laughs> and he's still in the water. <laughs> Just cheering. <laughs> I love that. That is one hell of a sacrifice. I mean, it worked out well last time, so I have faith. Oh, that looks so scary, though. You have to be such a good pilot for that. And you have to hope they don't shoot you in the middle of, yeah, being on your way there. Come on, hit them! So they're like the last chance now. Oh my god. Get the fuck out! Ooh! <laughs> it was! I think maybe the other ones, they they release the bombs. I think they, they release them too quick or something. Because he really goes down really far, like really low. Then he drops it and instantly goes back up. So... Damn. That is something. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, I hope they're gonna be okay. Oh my god, they hit him right. I don't think he is, but yeah, he's been shot. I think he just has to keep strong now to like get the mission done. Maybe get the other guy out of there. This is a mess. Ooh, no fuel. Ouch. Yeah, like where are you gonna go? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I mean, that is kind of what you did in Pearl Harbor, so then people are also trapped in the ship and all. How are you gonna save that ship? I mean, this ship. Oh, yeah, but also this ship's also on fire, so good luck with that. Now, why the hell would Nagumo leave his flagship? Why? Yep. Knock it off. Oh, okay. <laughs> if nobody finds us, let's swim back to Pearl. Ah, yeah. I think someone will be looking for survivors, right? Eventually. I hope. I see something. Looks like you destroy a American or Jeff. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, they said like tortured and executed, right? Tell us your ship. Well, we saw you overboard. Cigarette? <laughs> you know, I had a lot of friends at Pearl Harbor. So how about you go fuck yourself? Tell him. That is so scary though, just like a drowning death. Is he gonna tell now? But like mostly when you tell them they're gonna kill you anyway, just in another way. Oh, I think it was just his arm, so... That looked like some cowboy bullshit to me. You've been shot. I can fly, sir. Hell you can. Get your ass down to sick bay. Oh. Put the pilots you trust in any plane that can fly. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh oh from the oxygen oh shit i feel like that's really gonna mess him up now and then he's like if he survives this he's gonna die really early on because his lungs are messed up look i know you boys have just been through hell but we gotta go back and hit the last carrier <laughs> we're going back out i'm sorry sir but i think you need to find somebody else you don't know what it's like to be in the back seat, sir. You fly like you don't care if we come home. 
I want to go home too. I want to spend more than a few days at a time with my wife. See my little girl grow up. If we go out there, we probably aren't coming back. It's our job. And we're the guys who have to hold the fort till the cavalry arrives. Damn. I, I mean, I get it, but if someone said to me, like, if we go back out there, we're not if coming back, I'd be like, fly, ugh. Find someone else. But still, it's if like you your duty and all, and ugh. Remember this moment for the rest of your life. But he just said he if wouldn't you know come back. You'd be able to face anything. That's true though. If you look, if you don't do don't do it now, you're gonna like wonder for the rest of your life, or like regret it. I don't know. Kind of depends on the outcome, I think. But I'm still. Don't make me go back out there without you. A warmer up, sir. <laughs> Get ready, Murray. We're not sneaking up on them this time. Here they come! Oh, imagine just instantly dying. Oh, shit. Oof. Get them. He just flew right out of there. Damn. What a guy. Where's Bass? He hasn't come back yet. He's probably just taking a victory lap. Yeah, at first I really thought it was him, but. And like Dick Bass, the reason we're gonna win this war. For real. If I see what he's doing out there, damn. Come on. I also really hope for his wife and kid that he's okay. Any news? There's a big battle. One of our carriers is sinking. Sounds like we lost a lot of them. I knew he was gonna come back. Uh, don't crash right now. Please don't crash right now. God damn it, dick rest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's epic. Thought you were dead. Yeah, they said the same thing about you. Glad they were wrong. Vinna Murray, he earned it. <laughs> yeah, he burned his hands, right? You okay? Oh, but the oxygen! I feel like that's gonna fuck him up. Damn. Captains who are literally like, yeah, I'm gonna go down with the ship by is so wild. Oh shit, they're all doing it. Or like some of them. That is so wild, like being so disappointed in yourself, like from, because of losing a battle, that you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go down here. Yeah, I thought so. I feel like somewhere it has something like honorable, but it also yeah, it always feels a bit unnecessary. Like you're giving your life, you can do like some more stuff with it, you know. But yeah, and I'm always thinking like, don't these people have a family? Like even though you fucked up, don't you like want to go back to your family? What happened to Bruno? They spotted an empty life raft. What about the other guy? Did they also drown him? Whoa. Nokuba, Honya, Hiyaki, the Monoto Walmas. Mito Ekicho, Kampo, so get Sviki this. Vega Senka, you shall send. Mother Konota Takayo says, Koda Kano this. <laughs> we won. Oh. I always like seeing after that, like what happened to them and all. God 
bless those boys. Mm. Turns out all they needed was a fair fight. Damn, okay. Hmm. I want to know more about, um, uh, what was his name? The main guy. Like, what happened to him? I feel like something with his lungs happened. Oh? Damn. Okay. Whoa. Just... Just because of this one man? 250,000 people were killed? I was waiting for you to sneak out of sick bay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did it. And him? <laughs> That's what I'm the most curious- Oh, him too. Eventually commanded his own aircraft carrier. He's gonna be reunited with his wife. Hang on, boys. Hell of a job. You boys really came through for us. A book? Oh, nice. <laughs> the way they're just there again. Like on that side of the fence. No. But why is he in a wheelchair though? <laughs> what happened? Apparently I inhaled caustic soda. What does that mean? Yeah. My lungs are shot. The Navy's never gonna let me fly again. We'll get good at something else. You have the rest of your life <laughs> to figure it out. Is he gonna like live long with this? Yeah, honestly, this is... He never flew again. Like, the stuff this man did. Damn. This is a good movie. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I think it was really nice to, like, get to know more about this whole event. It was really interesting. And um, what I think this, this movie did really well, they really made me feel for the people as well. As in, sometimes I see like a, a World War show or, or movie and then it's more about the events. And I'm like, of course, that's super interesting, but then maybe just make a documentary and not a like a fiction movie. Um, because, of course, this is just fiction based on real events. But I feel like if you're watching a fiction movie, you also have to like feel for the characters. And here, of course, the characters are real people. And because you also saw their families a bit, I think that's also why they did that. And I think with Dick, you really... Um, yeah, like from the moment we saw him, he was just so confident. He was really like... This character, you would instantly be like, okay, he's gonna do great things. He's not gonna die anytime soon. He's gonna do great things here. And I just instantly kind of started to root for him, even though, like I said before, normally when someone's acting so, like, it was almost kind of arrogant, I would be like, oh, he's way too cocky, like, get that arrogance down a bit and then we'll talk again. But I don't know, it just suited him, like, he knew he was a good pilot, he knew he was going to do great things, and I feel like deep down he was afraid of dying, but he was willing to do anything it takes, so... That was really good to see how they portrayed all of that. I think also because in the beginning you see the, the attack on Pearl Harbor. At first I didn't really like think we were gonna see that. I thought it was just gonna be about this battle. But what I really liked is that you really saw the events coming up to this battle. So like it started with Pearl Harbor and like a lot of them of course felt like the need to get revenge for that. They 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 weren't gonna just accept that. Like the one guy said, uh, Nick Jonas actually, I had a lot of friends on that ship, so fuck you. So I think it was just really nice how they showed all of these events leading up to that. Of course, the Japanese, uh, it was their plan to like attack Midway and the Americans find, found out, uh, Patrick Wilson's character found out. Of course, they were gonna do something about it, but I think the whole event of Pearl Harbor, it just made their like, 
feelings of hate so much stronger and they really like they felt like oh this is just something that should happen and i hope i'm explaining this right like yeah they were gonna do it anyway probably when they found out that was gonna happen but like yeah pearl harbor just made all these feelings a bit stronger i think also um when we saw in the beginning uh alexander ludwig from vikings uh, i was like oh fun he's gonna be in this movie and then he just instantly died and i think because they started with that i feel like that was so strong um, because I feel like there were no boring moments in this movie. Maybe like once or twice when like I heard the Japanese talking and it was just like when I heard people talking about politics, I'm like, okay, I guess it's part of this movie. But I mean, yeah, sure. Um, but beside that, there there weren't really any boring parts. And because they started off with the event at Pearl Harbor, I feel like it was just so strong. Instantly, you were instantly drawn into this movie. Like I instantly felt connected to Alexander's character because um, first of all just because I like him as an actor and I, I was kind of sad he was he died but also because he's there and he's trying to save this this little boy who's working on that ship and um, then he dies and of course the family you see the family and it's so fucked up like oh they lost their father or husband in that event like yeah so you instantly feel for the people you instantly see what this does to their families and i think it was just so strong to start off with that and then after that you have of course the whole part where they found out about midway and um how they're gonna like handle this and all and then in the end you got the whole battle and i think it was portrayed so well and it was really nice to to follow um dick then and what i also liked about this uh, but i think that's more like a personal thing normally when i watch uh, war movies or shows a lot of times I can't separate anyone from anyone. I'm just like, they're all white guys. They all kind of look the same. Their names <laughs> kind of sound the same. So it's just like, yeah. For example, Band of Brothers, really good show, loved it. But it took me like nine or 10 episodes before I realized who was who and before I could even remember a few names. My dad recently rewatched that and I was sitting here when he was watching it. So then you see it again and then it's like, oh yeah, that, that guy and that guy. And then you kind of know it. But when you watched it for the first time, it was so hard for me to keep everyone apart. And I read in, in comments about Band of Brothers that I wasn't the only one. I think this has something to do with the fact that I knew almost all of the actors in this. Like, it was really easy for me. Like, it was just the guy from Game of Thrones, Patrick Wilson, the guy from Vikings, the guy from Rel Academy. But um, yeah, I think that's just the case of having more famous actors in a movie. And... I gotta say, mostly when you put really famous actors in a mo movie like this, it's just like, mm, okay, like, for example, Nick Jonas, what the fuck is he doing there? But honestly, it all, their acting was good to me. I believed all of them. So I think it was actually a really good choice to cast them all. I, I gotta say, I really liked that with Band of Brothers. They were all like a bit less well-known actors, at least back then, I think. And mostly that makes me believe the story a bit more because for example when you cast daniel radcliffe somewhere i'm like ah oh, yeah that's just harry potter you know um but then it's just like these unknown people they're telling this story and you kind of believe it more because you don't really know them as an actual person but just as a character i hope i'm making sense but like i said i think that's just a personal thing i think it was a really good movie like i said very interesting to to learn some stuff already before um watching the Pacific, which I'm going to start very soon. I'm already going to tell you that if you want to already see some of my episodes to the Pacific, you can get early access on my Patreon. The link's in the description. And like I said before, you can also see my full movie reaction to this one. I think it was indeed a good preparation for the show. I have been, like I said, I have been listening to a few podcasts just to like get kind of into the theme, just to kind of prepare for the whole subject and all. Because I mean, it is a like a real life event. So I feel like if you're going to react to stuff like that, you kind of have to do your research before just getting into that even just knowing the basics you know so yeah it was nice to watch this let me know what you guys thought of this movie i thought it was really good and if you like my reaction to it then please leave a like subscribe and then i really hope to see you next time bye